what about the percentage of people who don't survive then? Whatever that percentage is, you know, what would you say if in the future one of your parishioners did die of coronavirus having come to one of your services? Would would you say feel like you have blood in your hands or not? No. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil for God is with us. Then he said, fear not for I am with you. And then the Bible teaches us to be absent from our bodies is to be present with the Lord. So like any revolutionary or like any zealot or like any pure religious person, death looks to them like a welcome friend. You're saying that you, they wouldn't mind if they died? True Christians do not mind dying. They fear living in fear. So you're saying... Cowardice of their convictions. You're saying that um, you think that your parishioners would prefer to come to the service and potentially get coronavirus and die than not come to the service and be fine. A people that can prefer disgrace to danger are headed for a master and deserve one. People that prefer tyranny over freedom do not deserve freedom. People have been locked in their homes for 23 days now, like prisoners. The only vent that they have to their emotion is coming to the house of God and worshiping like free people. Why can't they just do it on Zoom or something? Why can't they do it like we're doing it now, just on face? That still works. God's everywhere. It does not work. If it worked, then why did America spend billions and billions of dollars on churches? But then hypothetically, in one month's time, if one of your parishioners has died of coronavirus, what do you have to say to their family who's watching it right now? I have to say that they died like free people fighting for their convictions. People die in my church of cancer, HIV, AIDS. But this is preventable. This is preventable. Well... Who knows what is preventable? Scientists. Scientists do. And scientists need to know that God gave us a strong immune system. And the only way we're going to destroy this virus is for... They say everybody's going to get it. Then if everybody's going to get it, then let's get on with life.